horrifying to think what could have been the headline yesterday after a gunman entered an elementary school near Atlanta and fired shots. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but what if that were to happen here in middle Georgia? 41 NBC's Skyler Henry joins us after learning about the plan Bibbs County Schools has in place in case of the unthinkable. Andrew, with Atlanta so close to middle Georgia, Bibbs school officials say they feel like Tuesday's school shooting scare was right in their backyard. Bibbs schools, along with the sheriff's office, have a plan in place if terror ever entered the classroom. As the events in Atlanta unfolded Tuesday, Bibb County school officials were watching. David Gowan, the director of risk management at Bibb schools, says his team is working to create an even tighter security effort around the classrooms, so they'll be ready in a similar situation. The school uh, board has funded a phase one of a four-phase project that deals with access control. Phase one will cover all 25 elementary schools in the county with cameras, intercoms, and screening entry into every building. Parents who had kids in Atlanta didn't know where to get their children after they were safely evacuated. Gowan says each school has a primary and secondary relocation site about a thousand feet away from every building. That location could be a nearby church, a nearby business. We have some schools where we don't have a nearby structure, so it's an open area where buses would have access. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office, along with the Board of Education and Risk Management, are working to prevent something like this from happening. They say that they've been learning from each event and also learning how to get better. Each incident and try to practice and perfect what we've seen happen in the past and take some of the good points from incidents. Uh, if they see a gunman or some other type of uh, criminal activity or suspicious activity, they have the authority, every single person on that staff uh, has the authority, uh, we're going to say in our training, they have the authority to um, call for an emergency lockdown or a preventive lockdown. After students were safely evacuated, parents would meet their kids at a reunification site. Wow. Wow. All of the designated areas are kept a secret, all to keep the little ones safe and sound. Gowan says phase one to improve security in the schools will be completed at all of the elementary schools by the end of the year. He says the middle school and high schools are a part of a later phases.